Hello and welcome to another video and podcast from Fancy Football Scout as we look ahead to Fancy Premier League at game week 30 and we see what a wild card for this week will look like. My name is Joe and what I'll do is give my general views on wild carding with fixtures in mind, that is key before revealing a wildcard draft for the week. Um, this will be based on those wildcarding who have a free hit in hand to use in double game week 34. And uh, more on that in a little bit. Um, this is because I think that it's a great time to wildcard now if you can navigate double game week 34 with a free hit. I don't think it's a good time to wildcard now if you don't have that chip available. And that is because... In double game week 34, the teams that play twice and in double game week 37, where lots of better teams, I would say, um, or rather more um, more teams with more favourable fixtures and sort of teams like Man City, for example, um, they double then. So essentially you need two teams, you need a double game week 34 type team and a double game week 37 type team. They're completely different types of teams. So you need to sort of navigate that. And that's where a wild card can come into it with the free hit because you can play that free hit game week 34. You can ignore those teams. The Crystal Palace, for example, play there. You can just have them in your free hit team and game week 35, your normal team's back again. Your wild card team, possibly. Um, so what I'll do is we're going to have a look at the fixtures and explain a bit more um, what's happening in terms of fixtures and where you might be wanting to use your chips or your wild card. Um, but before we do that, I just wanted to remind people, do press that like button, really helps us out. Also, do remember to subscribe, so you can keep up to date with all our latest videos and podcasts. And do check out uh, latest uh, membership offers at fantasyfootballscout.co.uk to use all the tools and gadgets to help you climb up your mini league. Um, okay, so let's have a look at the fixtures. So this is from now until the end of the season, and I've sorted it by se uh, uh, fixture difficulty. Um, Crucially, and we'll come to this in a sec, there is a number of games that need to be re rearranged. They are mostly going to go in game week 37, but one of those games, Chelsea against Spurs, will go in somewhere in 35 and 36. The first thing to note with this um, is that double game week 34, um, these are confirmed two fixtures for these teams, Liverpool, Bournemouth, Everton, Sheffield United, Arsenal, Wolves and Crystal Palace all play twice. They are good teams to invest in for 34. You might not want all of those teams around it, which is why wildcard now is good with a free hit. Um, Tottenham blank completely in 34. Meanwhile, um, Liverpool, across all of these fixtures, Liverpool are a good team throughout, I would say. They're a good team now. They've got Brighton and Sheffield United. You're going to get immediate returns if you invest in Liverpool now. Um, they have that double game week in 34. And they have good fixtures all the way through, ending with Wolves at home in 38. Newcastle, good fixtures throughout. Um, that includes a lovely um, set of uh, two home games, 30-31. They've got West Ham and then they host Everton. Much better at home. They got Tottenham in 33 at home. They also have in 35 Sheffield United at home. They don't double in 34, but they do in 37. And they've got Sheffield and Burnley in 35 and 36. So you, if you're wildcarding now, you need to be aware you're going to want Newcastle. So you might as well get Newcastle now on a wildcard. Um, but that's as long as you can um, navigate 34 with a free hit, which is why I favour if you don't have a free hit, wildcarding 35 because that's the team that you want and just using transfers to get to 34 but nevertheless if that's not the case and if you've already pressed the button now you know it is what it is you've got to try and navigate 34 and 37 which is tricky because there's two sets of teams you're going to need but you're going to have to do that with transfers and probably hits will be needed and that'll be the subject of a future um podcast and video i would imagine of how to navigate both of those with a limited number of chips but um yeah elsewhere um looking at the fixture ticker brighton they do double they're going to double in 37 but they've got a real mixed bag of fixtures and including man city at home arsenal at home liverpool way in 30 uh tottenham a, a, a useful team at the moment they've got luton at home, then they got West Ham away, Nottingham Forest at home, then they got Newcastle away, then they blank, and then they go straight into Arsenal and Liverpool, pretty poor. But they finish up with 37 and 38 with Burnley and Sheffield United. That's the, the, the sort of duo of fixtures you want to target those promoted sides. So they're a funny one, but you want to get investment in them because they're going to double in 35 or 36 at some point. 
uh, one of those two, and they're going to double in 37. Um, so you're going to want to invest in them, even though they'll have a mixed bag of fixtures um, then, but certainly towards the end. Um, I'm just going to look at the world, the double game week 37 fixtures. So this is what we know. This is the likely double game week 37. So if you're wildcarding now, you need to be thinking of these. Now, Chelsea, Chelsea have a good run of fixtures in general. They've got Burnley at home, Manchester United at home and Sheffield United away in the next three. Um, but in, de- in double game week 37, they're likely to have Nottingham Forest and Brighton. Tottenham, I've got Burnley and Man City at home, then, or, or likely. These are likely fixtures. Man City likely to have Fulham and Tottenham. Brighton likely to have Newcastle and Chelsea. Manchester United likely to have Arsenal, Newcastle. And Newcastle themselves are going to have Brighton. Uh, likely to have Brighton and Manchester United and there's that Chelsea and Spurs game somewhere in 35, 36. It's a lot to take in. So if you're wildcarding now, you've got to take all of that in. I've got quite a small brain. <laughs> I, I like to keep FPL simple. Um, I have also used my free hit chip uh, uh, in 29 to uh, not very much success. But in a way, one of the plus sides of that is I don't have to think too much. Uh, I can just basically use transfers into 34 and then wildcard later. But if you're going to wildcard now, you've got to be thinking post 34. You've got to be thinking about those double game weeks to come and those fixtures. Um, so with all of that in mind, I've done a wildcard. I've done a wildcard draft for you. Uh, I've used... Um, Plan FL, FPL, uh, dot com. Uh, do do have a do visit them and have a look, uh, and you can um, you can you can put in your team. You can make changes. You can you can do all of these uh, things and plan ahead, game week by game week. So I put this team in. I'll read it out, and then I'll go through some of the uh, issues with that. I'll also um, explain before that I like price points, and what that means is. Um, I look less at the player and less at the player I might want to have. So, for example, Haaland is 14.1. I want him in a wildcard team because I might want him at some point. And it, uh, if I decide to ditch him, that's easy. If you decide you want Haaland and he's 14.1 million and your price point, your top price point is, say, 8 million <laughs> as a forward, that's a big struggle to find 6 million somewhere. Similarly with Salah. I want an expensive midfielder there. You can't do it for every team. So I haven't got like a really expensive defender in this. But I like the sort of mid-price, the sort of uh, eight to nine million midfielder bracket. There's a lot of choice in the sort of four and a half to five to six million or so. That sort of lower price midfield bracket. Palmer, Garnacho, Anthony Gordon, who I don't have him with this team. But he is another option there. And there's a lot of choice in the mid-price strikers. Isaac, for example, Darwin. Um, so you've got to look at the sort of prices of players and the prices that you, of players that you might want to get. And looking at those fixtures and looking at the double game weeks, obviously investment now, if you can navigate 34 with a free hit, Chelsea, Tottenham, City, Brighton, Manchester United and Newcastle, that is key. And so that is a focus. I can't bring myself to ditch um, the likes of Salah um, it, because I... I think that even if you're navigating 34 with a hit when Liverpool double, they've got such good fixtures before and after as well. And then finishing with 38 Klopp's uh, final game, home game, uh, home to Wolves. I mean, that's going to be big. I would anticipate goals there. What's lacking in this team is perhaps Arsenal. Now, this whoever is, I was going to say, whoever constructed this, that'll be me. Um, Arsenal, they play City next. OK, game week 30. But game week 31 at home to Luton. And I'm probably going to want a bit of um, Arsenal there. So with this team, I've got Son and Richarlison. Oh, don't worry, for those listening to this, I'll read, I'll read out all of the names in a sec. But what you could do, I've also got three million in the bank. So what you can have instead of that Spurs double up, or you could have that against Luton in game week 30, you can look perhaps in game week 31 to perhaps shift Richarlison to Saka and maybe maybe sort of hokey hokey between the two uh, and get Arsenal in um, you know for a, a good run of Arsenal games and then move back to Richarlison when they've got double game week perhaps. So so that's why I quite like that sort of price point around seven million or so and leaving some in the bank. Leaving money in the bank is also very good for a wild card, I think, because it gives you flexibility. I've already got that. 
oh, I want Saka in Game Week 31. I can just in one move, move Richarlison to Saka. Absolutely no problem. Um, that's I can easily afford that. Um, so so that's the kind of thing you've got to be thinking about. So, OK, I'll run through this team and then I'll sort of look in a bit more um, detail at some of the players. So I've got Petrovic in goal um, in a 3-4-3. This is going into game week 30 um, on my bench. Um, so Petrovic nailed on for Chelsea in the league. So we think. So I'm hoping there. Uh, Lascelles, uh, Botman is out for Newcastle. So that means Lascelles should start. He's only 3.9. What a bargain. And he plays at home to West Ham. He's good to go. He's good to go in game week 31 as well, at home to Everton. Um, so he's got very favourable fixtures. Um, you can play him and you can bench him. He's only 3.9. Um, I've got gone for a doggy. Um, if you want to spend a bit more, you can get Porro in. He's 5.8. But I do like a doggy. At uh, Spurs, I've uh, got Gusto as well. He's 4.2. Once again, he's another cheap um, uh, player. He should be he should be fit, as far as I know, uh, at the time of recording. Um, across my midfield, I've got Son, Salah, Richarlison and Palmer. Up front, Haaland, Darwin, Isaac. I've got Kelleher, 3.7. We're having no, there's no prognosis about when um, Allison's going to returning, be returning. So I'm hopeful that even because, you know, we've got free transfers. You know, if Kelleher, if Allison's back at some point after, well, I'm hopeful that uh, Kelleher will retain his place for game week 34. Um, but if you've got a free hit chip, you don't have to worry about that. And afterwards I can take it or leave him, but I'd like him now at the moment so I think he's good at the moment and bearing in mind if you've got a bench boost as well so this is with a bench boost in 37 in mind as well so this is a very bench boostable side a lot of these teams they they play twice in 37 so on my bench I've got Garnacho, Gabriel uh, for Arsenal I'm benching him against City for game week 30 but he's good to go there for 34 and other fixtures um, especially against at home against Luton in game week 31 I've got Dallow as well I quite like him 5.2 um, at uh, Manchester United uh, once again he doubles some, you know he's handy you know, he's also handy in double game week 34 if for some reason he didn't free hit so he's sort of with a slight mind in not in trying to navigate 34 he's actually he's a single game week but Garnacho and Dallow they face Sheffield United at home and then they've got Burnley at home in game week 35. So these are players that you're going to want to have at some point, definitely in 35. So if you're free hitting in 34. So I'm um, just a little bit about some of those players again. I'll just quickly run through it again. Because I know when I listen to podcasts, people run through these teams and I go, oh, what did they say again? Oh, and I have to keep rewinding it. So it's, this has got Petrovic, Lascelles, Doggy, Gusto, Son, Salah, Richarlison and Palmer up front, Haaland, Darwin, Isaac on the bench, Kelleher, Garnacho, Gabriel and Dallow. Uh, OK, so I'll explain about the fixtures, really. So some of the reasons why these players are doggy um, uh, this season. He's, he's had eight shots inside the box, created 22 chances, five attacking returns for a five million defenders. Pretty good. That's two goals and three assists. I like him. Gabriel as well is still there. He's got, he's just got to be included really, um, you know, heavily, heavily owned, but for good reason. He's got, he's had four goals this season, which is absolutely huge for a central defender as well. Um, Gusto, I like uh, five assists he's had uh, for 4.2. That's an absolute bargain. Um, looking at some of those midfield as well. So Salah, no surprise why he's there. 15 goals, nine assists in 20 starts. So, yeah, he, you can armband him. You can get the get the arm, captaincy armband on him. Um, Saka is the one that's missing here. But as I said, I would probably look to bring him in in game week 31. Uh, not for game week 30. I can live without him in game week 30 when he plays City. Um, he's had 13 goals and 11 assists this season. This is pretty good return. So it's cost 27 starts. So heavily involved, particularly recently. Um, Son as well. 14 goals and eight assists. I mean, these are these are, these are cracking stats for these players. Palmer, he's a, he's an absolute must and very captainable, especially when Chelsea have a double game week. Palmer, eleven goals and nine assists in nineteen starts. So he's for, and he's five point seven, and I, be, I I believe his points per match is five point nine. So you're getting more points per match than his actual cost, 
and he's actually getting more returns than he's actually starting. 20 returns, 19 starts so far, um, which is pretty amazing, really. So this, if I was wildcarding now, this is the sort of team I'd have. Bearing in mind that game week 37 double that you want to get to. And you're getting a lot of players here. You've also got room for manoeuvre. Using price points, you can switch the two. Maybe you won't have, you don't want um, Haaland uh, all the way through this. So Man City, let's look at Man City's pitch. So they've got Arsenal next. Then they've got Aston Villa at home, Crystal Palace um, away, Luton and Brighton. Um, then they've got Nottingham Forest away, Wolves, Fulham, West Ham. All good fixtures. But we don't know what's happening with Europe. You could get injured or something like that. So you can easily remove him, but you might want him back again. So it's, that's why I quite like that, that that expensive price point there. And the same with Salah. Um, but other people might want to remove Salah. But I don't know about that after game week 34, after the double. So um, I think if you're wildcarding him in now, I mean, I, I would just keep him for the duration myself. But um other people might lay that. So ho hopefully that's giving you some food for thought. If you're wildcarding now, um, if you're wildcarding with a free hit 34 in mind, this is ideal for you. If you're wildcarding without um, that free hit chip in 34, you've got to think about game week 34. You can't just ignore it. So you've got to be building for this and game week 37. That's a tough ask. Um, so game week 34, Liverpool, Ball Bournemouth, Everton, um, to a lesser extent, Sheffield United, Arsenal, um, Wolves and Crystal Palace. You're going to want a sprinkling of them. You're definitely going to want Saka. So I think if you're wildcarding now and you haven't haven't got the free hit for 34, I probably wouldn't muck around with Saka because that's the transfer you definitely, definitely want because he, he and Salah will be the most captained in 34. You need to think in advance like that. Um, hope that's helped. Um, good luck if you're wildcarding. Good luck if you're not. Um, good luck, everyone. Whatever chip strategy you've got, um, as long as you've got a plan in place, it will work out. Whatever that plan is, uh, the people next to you, people on um, social media will tell you their plan's best. There is no plan that's particularly best, um, but just have a plan. Just planning is good. And uh, so hopefully this wildcard should get you through. Thanks a lot for your time. Just a reminder, do, do press that like button and also do subscribe as well. Keep up to date with our latest videos. Thanks a lot for your time. Take care. See you soon.